Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I am going to explain about the types of variable scopes. There are three types of scopes, my, local and r. When a variable is declared with my scope at the beginning of the script, that variable is accessible throughout the script and also within the subroutines. If a variable is declared with my scope within the subroutine, then that variable will be local only to that subroutine. Next is local scope. Local scope variables are accessible within a block or a subroutine. Next is R scope. This one I am going to explain in packages tutorial. Now let us see an example and sort out the differences between my and local. This program illustrates my scoped variable when it is accessed inside the subroutine and outside the subroutine. This is my string where I have declared it at the beginning of the script. I have initialized to the string called tutorials point and now when I access this string inside the subroutine what happens and outside the subroutine what happens let's just see. I have to call this function also to invoke this function. Outside the subroutine and inside the subroutine my scoped variable is accessible. Now if you declare this my scoped variable string inside a subroutine what happens? When you are trying to access that variable outside the subroutine, it is an empty variable. But inside the subroutine, you can access that variable. This means when you declare a variable with my scope inside the subroutine, that means that variable can be accessed inside that subroutine but not outside. Second scope is called local. Now, if you declare a local scoped variable inside the subroutine, let's say a local string variable is scoped with local and it is initialized with string local. Now try to access this variable inside the subroutine as well as outside the subroutine. To invoke this function, you have to call this way. Let us test it now. You can check here outside the subroutine the local scoped variable is empty but inside the subroutine it is there. This means a local scoped variable can be accessed only within a block. Now let us see the difference between local and my scoped variables. I have a subroutine called local function where I have declared a variable with my scope and second variable with local scope. Inside this subroutine I am trying to print the my scoped variable and from this I am trying to call another subroutine and in this subroutine I am trying to print the my scoped variable and local scoped variables. Now let us call the main function that is a local function. If you can just see here my scoped variable is empty that means this is empty. Here my scoped variable which is called Perl that is printed but inside this nested subroutine which is called sub1 when you try to print my scoped variable as well as the local scoped variable the my scoped variable is empty but the local scoped variable is there. This means when you have nested subroutines the local variable which is defined in the main function or in main subroutine that will be carried out to the nested subroutines but not the my scoped variables.